So this is Salty333 and I've, well being as I have been uh, kind of saying that I would do a revenge series for New Media. This does involve modding the game and stuff like that. So first if you haven't already uh, if you haven't already unlocked all factions, well, all but one, that's how you do it. You just put all of them in playable. However, one has to be non-playable. It's, like, hard-coded to do so. Now, these, I believe, are all of the kind of... Let's start of resource section so maybe that's kind of like where things are right now here is the interesting part that with it, with the game it's always Rome starts out with a certain level of of town or city and money for Julia they start with 5,000 so let's say if I really wanted to be unfair I could go 50,000 and it would still work perfectly fine but let's just get rid of that because of that's not what I'm looking for at the moment yeah, Numidia is far, far down at the bottom. Well, almost. I believe... Uh, Carthaginian... You may be wondering why I'm having a look at Carthaginian. Uh, region by... Zachium. So that definitely is Carthage. Um, yeah. The thing is with Carthage and New Media, the files put them under the same culture, which is annoying. Because if you wanted to, New Media to only have a certain shrine you can't unless you somehow hard code it so you've got another new culture which could be very difficult oh my days new media why can't you just be here ah here's new media so let's just scroll up so uh the faction is called new media and they start with 3,000 denarii. So for my campaign, I would have it at that. So I start with a lot of money, but let's just take it away to begin with because of I'm still playing and I know I could just like save it in a different place, but I'm not doing that just now. Now, well, so yeah. And, like, the buildings and stuff like that. Now, it's got the name of the regions and stuff, stuff like that. So, um, so it basically goes, New Media has, uh, let's go down to one where I can actually pronounce, Libya, and... So on and so forth. And it's set to a certain population and a certain size. So, like this one is a large town, whereas the others are towns. Now, to spread the cost between all of them out, what I would do is put the, all of them as a large town, because of then it doesn't mean that all of the upkeep is coming from one city 
And this is the interesting bit, the generals. So, Sifact, who's the faction leader, um, starts in, um, you're uh, here you can actually change the provinces names that basically that this bit of code stands for here and this bit there that bit there and so on and so forth although there is just one army which just doesn't actually have any thing in so like this one so it's got one xp already so i could could change that to nine and then i would get a free gold xp and armor again nine a uh, gold defense and gold attack and so on and so forth and it also has like the ages of the gen generals because of Sifax dies in like 10 ter ter turns so I could lower his age a bit like to 50 or something like that and it also has the traits so you could start with a with a general with like all of the traits for example i believe these stand for the retinue because of traits retinue then it talks about the army which it has and this is just like the location on the map okay and that's how they're related and stuff like that and then it goes on to Scythia. So let's just close that down. Don't save. Okay, so this is like the mercenaries. So basically, it's basically saying where you can get the mercenaries from. Like you wouldn't expect to get. Uh, elephant mercenaries in Britain for example so you although you could make it so it happens so you could go you know what I want elephants in Britain or Gaul or something like that so then you just find the infantry unit in here which ah here it is so you can get it from North Africa so then you just control C or cut it if you don't don't want um, North Africa to be able to get them and so on and so forth and you could change the max so you could get 10 uh, elephants uh, oh it also it's also there in Syria that's surprising it's not in Egypt what about Seleucids well yeah so Syria is basically where the Seleucids are so that's how you edit where you can get the mercenaries and you can change the XP Ooh, that's interesting I can't find a um, change the defense and armor which is interesting and you can also change the cost which is superb so you can get it like 10 denarii or something like that or if you want to go overly aggressive a thousand or something like that because of the mercenaries would have cost more than the infantry than normal infantry so goodbye now this one this is how to change the names 
of factions and I believe this is also how you can actually make a new faction but I'm not entirely sure so you've got that SPQR so let's say if I wanted to actually go for the Senatus Populus whatever it is Romanus I just can't remember the Q sorry forgive me um, then I could change that I wouldn't be able to change it here this bit is hard coded so you just can't and state faction air faction here uh, visiting siege tower okay so and that's the um cultures and stuff like that and that's actually reminds me of a different thing oh yeah if you're wondering where to find this you go here well this is if you have the steam uh, version steam steam apps common rome total war gold data text if you don't it would just be rome total war gold data test text yes now that actually reminds me of something that i can't exactly remember where it is but uh i'll put it in next part of this but one thing which does remind me of is this so the diplomacy yes it's just a long line of thing again hard coded not hard coded so let's say if you get really really annoyed about the oh actually you won't be able to do that Mm, that's annoying. What I was going to say is if you got really annoyed about the uh, the AI going accept or we will at attack please don't attack us and stuff like that what I was hoping you could do is just take it out altogether but you can't which is unfortunate so uh, oh that that actually helps a uh, protectorate um, accepts the reality of your situation and with good grace accept that you need protection in this dangerous world it is time to become out client state I think that should be our clients client kingdom so that's pretty much the same as like uh, how the Imperial times were that you are weak therefore I shall protect you but you shall be in my country and stuff like that but oh oh that's nice that, that oh it's only got Egypt that's really annoying oh yeah I'll just go to Carthage Unless this is a bit... Yeah, it isn't. So, let's just go Carthage. This is not only Carthage, but it also goes for Numidia as well. They're the same culture. So, it... So for all of these is for two factions well so with this uh, a protectorate it is time to accept your that your independence is at an end and become a client state protected by our mighty armies and cushioned by our wealth well, I disagree with that because of they because of it's kind of a bit stupid that independence is at an end, but you're a client state.
but a client state was still independent because it could still do what it wanted but it just couldn't attack anyone for example or um well you could attack your own leader to get out of being a leader but there you go I guess let's get rid of this I've already been through this I believe uh, yes I have that's the names okay the campaign descriptions now this is where it kind of goes you need to go in several places because of as you'll notice that if you've got the mod that allows you to play as the Numidians there isn't actually something here so what I believe you would have to do is let's just go here data world maps yes campaign imperial description let's have a look at what this is open with notepad yeah that isn't it um so open open with notepad no that this wouldn't be it because of that's just basically telling me what I've already shown so discrete region ooh okay so that would be the kind of settlements and so on and so forth so let's say if I wanted to create a new settlement called let's say salty for example I could just don't save um so I'm not actually sure where that um where this is actually pointing to Imperial Campaign Egypt Imperial Campaign Egypt do you see Egypt anymore? um... ah! I got it open this may work this may not okay no it doesn't it basically shows you the map of where things are but that does mean that let's just oh it didn't work the same way I was hoping it it would but let's just zoom in a lot and let's just make a mess of it because of I'm not gonna save it let's say if I wanted it won't be that flip I have not you yeah that's it let's say if I made this bit mine I would kind of color it in but in a better way and like let's say if I had carpet it would of course be white and better than what I'm doing and so on and so forth now yay colors huzzah so no now oh I didn't actually show you that let's just go on to the game can you see new media is selected and there's no description it's just end that what I would have to do is create a new description
but I'm just not sure where I would do that because of that's description Romans Brutii Julii Scipii but it just doesn't actually tell me where to go maybe this one no that's nothing yeah some things that just it isn't just helpful which can be utterly annoying because of it just tells me go here but I have gone here but it isn't there let's just oh thank you just you're not helping me please just help okay so I basically sh have a shown you this now Oh, actually, there's the Parthians. Localization, no. Um, all changes and made below, underneath, changes made. Very minor, Britannia. The words within which have been added to the following sentence. Okay, so Greeks, Parthians, Germans. Caesar and Gaul title. Hmm. This is confusing to. I'm not entirely sure how to get a description up for, like, new media if I wanted to. But I'm not the best programmer. Well, not yet, anyway. But basically, what I would do in the, in the end, once I finished, is I'm basically going to make two mods. One is my revenge campaign. The other one is a more of a balanced campaign, like, um, so New Media just can't get taken out in three turns, for example. Like, I would make New Media have more than four factions to start with, like, with the... Okay, let's just open you, open you, open this, Ooh, that lag, um, that new media has these two, this one and this one, what I would do is, this one I would split it into like two parts, uh, as well as the one underneath here, because I'm sure the, fertil the fertility isn't great, so they would more likely be spread out finding the best fertility. Like, it wouldn't just be one city in a place. It would have, like, very, very distant apart each other's st villages. Well, not even a village. Like, ten houses. Well, actually, in nowadays... That's a village, but oh well. Um, let's just oh, tap, tap out and go back to scenes. Like the fact that you can just line up perfectly, so you just get your mouse lined up. Like I would actually show you when I get onto here. Oh, I can't actually see my mouse. Oh, I think I know. It's because of I've put um, in the settings of OBS in. So it doesn't really ma matter that much. Oh, wow, I've been going for half an hour. That's honestly surprising. And the good thing is I have an the easy option of just um 
uploading e instantly that I don't need to export it because of OBS records in MP4 anyway. And basically it's the live streaming thing which everyone uses almost. Well, I think everyone actually does. So, okay, this is like... This is the menu underscore English uh, dot text file, which is, um, let's go, data, text, menu underscore English, which is menu in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's actually something which I did mean to show notepad these are like all of the like names those are hard coded oh oh I get it so it will be hard coded but you could actually change it which is kind of strange but so let's say if new media were to be oh actually I have an idea how to find it so I just look for the one which has the shortest list of names for women yeah it splits up into male and female the reason why is they just because of they're the same culture they just copy the names over but I do not seem to be able to find it because I'm back at Rome. Yeah, I just can't. No, I, oh, I get it. Is that this is the names for every single possible person in alphabetical order. Who is Plato, actually? Oh, I would actually change it so you could get Plato and Aristotle and stuff like that but that this isn't the bit which tells you you will be in this faction like new media can only have a certain amount of names for example shortcut rebel faction expanded okay so let's just have a little look at yes here yeah. yeah you can get everything from it there isn't really that much point to me doing this but I want to so yeah so the expanded.txt and underscore bi does the exact same thing very much just like so uh, I get it so this bit is hard coded and so you could have like Parthian death machine or something like that and also like a New Median city you could call a like uh, because of they would have been like very separated like the village would have been just been been like New Midian Hut New Midian Village New Midian Town uh, New Midian Large Town so you get the gradual thing because of you didn't really get cities well the only country at that points who actually had cities was actually Rome but Numidia is not Rome so yeah you just don't ooh there's a tool tips so no. uh, open 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 with notepad okay so I have absolutely no clue what this does let's have a look at the note Text file converted with lock parser. 
uh, that does not actually tell me anything about what this file actually does. But... <coughs> oh, I get it. It's basically go, go like, um, when you click with, like, a army, and you click on a unit, it basically says that, like, that would be in here. Well, I believe that's how it will work, but it doesn't really say. Uh, oh no, it's when you hover over things, like with the loyalty, that it goes, this man is very loyal and stuff like that. So there you go, so you have been done. You have been done, you can be closed, yes, close all. Um, and you have been done. What's this one? That's the campaign des descriptions. So there you have it. I haven't actually shown you that much. I've shown you basically what Biscuits Total War has already done on his channel. But I've just shown you like a little bit more. Like the campaign des description things. And so on and so forth. But I will eventually get to more complex things and show you how to do them so there you have it that's how to mod the campaign in Rome Total War yeah I'm probably gonna make like five maybe a bit less maybe a bit more of these videos the campaign, um, which would be this episode, the unit, sound, graphics, like with the graphics, things like um, how a unit looks, although that could go in unit, the unit section, and like how many settlements there are. But that could go into campaign, but I haven't actually started looking through that myself. So, yeah. So, there you go. This has been Zoddy Vritavri. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you haven't, you're in a bit of... Uh, in... Uh, speak English. English. Yes, I am English. I should know how to speak it. Um, but as I was saying, that if you haven't liked it, tell me why you haven't, other, other than something which I've already pointed out that I haven't really shown you anything. But I kind of don't want to show you that many things. But I do. What I mean is... I. I don't want you to show you, like, this is the only way to do this, and stuff like that, when there's a lot of other ways as well, but... Oh, actually, let's... Let's try and find that, so... It's campaign description. Items, editor... Description, character, um, banners, so you could do that, um, actions, debug, description, description, hmm, strange, ah, cultures, that was the thing which I was looking for, open, open with notepad, well I hope this is the thing which I was looking for, Ah, yes, it was. So, it basically says, like, what the things are, and how far they can go, by the looks of things. 
and it basically goes like, I would want you to open, to run this when I do this, this and stuff like that. That's all it is, and opening.cas files are quite annoying to say the least. Although this isn't actually the thing which I was looking for and hoping to find. What I was hoping to find was the kind of... Um, like the thing saying new media is part of this culture and stuff like that, but I can't actually find it. Ooh, look up campaign descriptions. So... Okay, so does it actually have a new media? So no. Hmm. That's really strange. Why wouldn't it have a? So I do wonder if I kind of copied and pasted that and just went new media new media and then go, go into here because of imperial campaign new media title and there and just do that I think that's how you do it I am certain that's how you do it but I'm not well I say I'm certain but I'm not actually quite sure so it's kind of just like I believe so but I'm not 100% sure but to my imagination and thoughts that's how we, how you would do it because of there. I believe then it would be like hard coded into the game that although then again it may not be it may just be pointless I'm not sure because it doesn't tell me but then again that I'm not surprised that they don't like give you that many things so Oh yeah, I'm not going to go into units. Ooh, SM Factions. That's... That looks interesting for a campaign. Ah, yes, this was the thing which I was looking for. Let's find New Media, New Media, New Media, New Media, New Media. Oh, I've scrolled past already. Okay, let's... Ah, here. See? Culture, New Media. So... I'm wondering if you can change it to new media and find the file the right files and change them all to a new median culture but I'm not sure if it's hard co coded in although then again with that file which I just found I may be able to just add it in so it's hard coded now I'm I don't know ooh the quotes Go to hell, hell I say. Just don't do this to me. Just don't. Oh, so description quotes. So let's find. So what is it likely to be in? Ah, description items, most likely. Quotes. Q. I see no Q here. So, no, it's not going to be there. Uh, editor fonts. I really want this. I really want this. Ah, loading screen. Symbols. Open with notepad. Open with notepad. I'm 
I might as well view this. Okay, so there you go. Close. So that's a way how to change the banners. But where do where can I go to find the quotes? I want the quotes text maybe. Uh, ah, quotes. As I uh, found it. I have found it. Ah, uh, so yeah, so I could actually go and make a new quote. Like, let's say if I hear a quote which is very interesting, I could go into the data files, find out where quotes was, which would be somewhere up here. Ooh, database file. I have no idea where the, that would go. Or oh, how to open it. Ooh, this looks interesting, but... Right, I've now officially gone off topic. So... That's it. it that's nice. And also it would then mean... Um, that with those really annoying things, I was just go going, this is how you play the game. I don't care. I know how to play the game, so stop telling me how to play the game. I'm wondering if you can just get rid of them altogether, like pretend they never even existed. But I'm not sure how you do that, because I haven't seen uh, anything of that sort. But I think it's getting to the point of ending this episode because of it's getting on to 40 minutes plus. So yeah, this has been Zodi Radio 3, and I hope you have ended and no doubt I will actually change the settings um next time so you can actually see my mouse moving across the screen and stuff like that I wonder if I could do it now but I don't want to just in case if it stops recording and then crashes because if I've deleted the files which I had open and it would just be more annoying but yeah, see you next time. Ooh, actually I will just say I shall put a link to, um, uh, to Biscuit's channel because of that's where I found how to do some of the moddings. Although I did also find that, um... Uh, that website I'll also put in a link to there because of you may not want to watch these videos you may just want to do it yourself so yeah so see ya next time